Hello Capricorn, this is your January 2017 mini money reading and it will be for January, February and March. A three month uh, mini reading for money. Let's take a look here real quick and see what we've got. Uh, you may want to check your moon sign, your rising sign and your sun sign as I continue to get the updates from folks like you that uh, say they were watching those also. So. Let's take a look here and see what we've got. What is coming up for Capricorn for money here in the next couple of months? Wow, it says alms dispense with justice. It says it looks like there's money coming, but there's money going too. It almost seems like there's been some unexpected delay, not delays, unexpected expenses. Okay, and sometimes if we plan for that, I don't care if it's $5 a month you put away. It says unexpected money in January or February took away some money that was put away for something else. Thank goodness that you had it. Um, it says sometimes we hold on to money so tight it disappears. So you got to find a happy balance there. It's like they're saying you got to save some. Don't save everything. You know, we can't... Um, uh, for fear, hold money because we know something's going to go wrong. It's if nothing goes wrong, we have extra money. It says victory could be yours in the money department and you've, what you've practiced or what you've learned about budgeting or saving is going to come into play here for um, those of you that are on your own. Of course, you only have by yourself, you only have to worry about you. But when you have like a family or a partnership, it's more than just one. So it looks like there's a lot of talk about money here this month in January says that when couples or partners get together on money, it makes for happy balance. Usually, if they're not uh, on the same page about that, it can be a lot of upheaval in a relationship. It says you have the Nine of Cups, you're going to get what you wished for. So if you're working on savings or improving or making money, this is a good thing for you. It says some of you are waiting for a sum of money also that's going to show up for you this month in January. I don't know how come. I don't know if it's something legal, something signed, inheritance, whatever. Some of you will be receiving money. And it's kind of, some of it's quite a bit of money. Um, hmm. So there's going to be a reason to celebrate the fact that there's a change in the way that money flows through the household. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I feel good about it. So I feel that, again, if there's a partnership, the partnership is going to sit down and make a budget or agree on how the money is going to be spent in the household, which will cause more peace in that direction or in that situation. It says what you've learned, those of you that are on your own, when you have to count on yourself, it's nice to have a little bit of money put away. It says that some of you will be meeting with um, or making plans, official plans for saving money. I don't know if that's retirement money, investment money, business money, but there is gonna be a change there and it's a change for the better. It's something that needs to be done. Not needs to be done, is chosen. You're choosing to do it. And that's always a good thing. It makes it much easier when we choose rather than we have to. It says, in the past, a lot of times there has been difficulty with money. Uh, defeat, feeling, you know, I get all excited about starting something new, putting some money away, and oh my goodness, the car breaks down, or the dishwasher, or the wash machine, or whatever it is. But it says, right now is a good time to do that. It says, if you had ex... If, you, if you're having difficulty saving for a rainy day or an emergency or whatever, it says if you would look at it as putting money aside for something that you really want to do. Because if nothing goes wrong, guess what? You have extra money, and that's always nice. It makes things um, really nice. If you have three, four $400 put away that you're not planning on spending, if something happens, and yet there you have it when you want to do something. So it says you're not a fool with money, but you can part with your money quite easily sometimes, some of you. It says look back to the past on how things were, and you can change little things about that. You're very generous. Capricorns are very, very generous. And it says maybe the generosity ought to be turned inward for yourself. And when you can do that, uh, it'll be easier to say, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. If you've, for instance, signed up for payroll deduction where the money goes away, you don't have it, you can't spend it. Maybe something like that would work for you. But let's see what's going on in January. In January, it says those of you that are in a relationship or partnership that you're going to make an agreement to put some money away. And this is a good thing. It makes you very happy in the end or later on. Those of you that are on your own are going to or single or live by yourself, something similar to that says that you're also going to make a plan. And when you do that, I have the sun card, which makes happiness, joy, bliss, ease, happy like a child. Then we're going to come into February, and it says some choices are going to have to be made. 
Also, it says excuses no more. It says you can have 10,000 excuses why you can't do it, but you're going to find a reason why you do um, change a little bit in your finances. It says that the, some of you are wanting to take a trip, a vacation, something like that, and worried you aren't going to have money. Have a Christmas club. Have a vacation club where you put, you know, $5 away or whatever denomination you want every month. Come time for when you need the money, guess what? It's already there. It'd be something new for some of you. If you try it, you might like it. Come March, you're going to say, oh my goodness, I'm just going to, you know, forget about how it was in the past. And I'm not talking about January, February. I'm talking about past, previous to January, where... Um, overspending might have been a problem with some of you or giving too much and it says you've learned now that you can only spend if you live within your means at the end of the month it's easy to cope with when you've overspent you got six bills left and no money to pay them that's not so pleasant so it says you're going to look at things different and things will be different it says that you're almost learning how to control not control money control the flow of money and this can be a real good thing for everybody that's concerned so I want to thank you so much Capricorn for dropping in this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss I appreciate your uh, watching my videos let me know if you'd like me to continue the money and the love videos I will do them probably every three months best I can and I'll wait to hear and see what you have to say about that thanks again for dropping in and we'll see you next month